Okay, so I've painted the engines black and inside I've painted them black also. I've painted uh, the wheels black and the guns, not the Lewis. There are some Lewis guns on here, which are those. We're, we're not using those, okay? I've then got both halves of the engine nacelles and just tack them gently at the top. And what I shall do now is attach them to the wing. So I'll just slide them over the top, bearing in mind to keep this little depression here, I don't know if you can see it, this little cutaway. That's to go level with the wheel well. And then you've got a snug fit. So once that's level with that, I shall then just get the glue. And just let a couple of reaction. Take the glue round. side okay Oops. so that is the engine on okay um, I should dry brush these silver uh, paint the back of the engine wall black as well all grey Okay, build's going along really well, and it seems to be a little gem of a kit so far. Right, so I've painted the engines black. Uh, I've used Citadel Bad on Black. Doesn't matter what black you use, any black will do. Um, I've then <coughs> dry brushed them with Citadel Mithril Silver. Again, you can just use any, any silver that you want. Uh, just dry brush them. And... Uh, that's the effect that I've got. Um, so yes, you won't see a great deal of the engine once they're in, but it's it's there. It's nice. Um, <clears throat> I've glued the wings on, as you can see. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of filler to be done around here. Um, so yeah, just in these grooves. There's some filler to be had there, maybe a little bit there and there, but it's, it's only a small job, so that won't take long. Uh, fit on the top, this side is quite good, uh, as, as that side. Uh, another point on the build to look out for is, which I've done wrong, uh, I've put this bottom piece on and uh, the Bombay doors just drop straight through uh, so when you come to build this slip a little bit of card in the bottom and then put the Bombay doors in don't do what I've done which is put the wings together and then find I've got to slip card into each corner here to support the Bombay doors. Um, the engines are together, the engines in, painted, as you can see. Um, there's no actual fitting to show you which is the right way up, but I believe uh, from, from pictures I've seen, there are, uh, I don't know what they're called, oh, there we go, there are two circular parts here, I don't know whether it's some kind of air intake and then there's a little tab here, I, I believe that's some kind of starter motor that points to the bottom, so that should go straight down on the aircraft but apart from that, it's going really well right, so this is how I'm getting out of my situation <coughs> I've 
I'm gluing small pieces of plastic in the corners uh, so the bomb bay doors can drop and rest on those. And how I've done that as I've got some small pieces of plastic, cut them into triangular shapes. I have a little pointy stick with a bit of blue tack on the end, and then I just I run I run a little bit of glue on the inside. And I get my pointy stick with my blue tack on. Just dab this corner, pick it up, and then gently place it inside and hold it and you have to wait for the glue to take hold and then you can remove the stick there's only a tiny tiny bit of blue tack on there and then turn your aircraft upside down and then just check that it fits well okay and then once that's dry I'm gonna leave that a while then hopefully I can slip my Bombay doors in and they won't fall through okay <clears throat> So the plastic's had time to dry. You can see the little corner pieces I put them in. So they've had time to dry. Just um, pick up the Bombay doors. Just a bit of spit on the end of my finger. It's not very nice, I know. Uh, there you go, they just drop in. Uh, same with the front, that should just drop in also. There you go, that's how you solve that little problem. Another little problem on the model are these um, <coughs> ejector pin markings. Uh, now some are raised, that one's raised, and that one's recessed, and then you've got a nasty one in the corner. Don't know if you can see it, just about here. Now the way I get those out is I've got myself a little some needle files, and this is flat on one side. And okay, curved on the other, and it's got a reasonable point. I, I could do with a new one because this one's broke. All you do is place it flat on the deck, sorry, and then just hold it down and file the majority of the plastic off. So you do that for a while, you do that there, and then on that one as well. The tricky one that's in the corner is this one. Again, you get your file and you go into the corner, sort of that direction, and then from that direction, <clears throat> you get your knife and get the edge of the knife and then just scrape along this line. There's a raised line here with some looks like screws on it and just continue to scrape the rest of the plastic away and you keep in that nice line then do the same that side scrape away the plastic then get back to your file rub a little bit more and <clears throat> when you think you've got enough out <clears throat> I've got these nice little skinny um, sanders and you can cut a new end off if you want and then just sort of file into the corners that way and then that way and clean out again with your knife and you end up with something like that okay and you can see I've got rid of all the ejector pin markings from there there and in that corner so that'll look nice once it's sprayed up or painted up okay Uh, just to add a little interest, a little bit more detail to the model, uh, the exhausts off the engines are solid plastic. So what I've done, I've got my drill, my little drill, and I've drilled two holes in them side by side, and then with just a little knife, I've just sort of cut the, the join away and shaped them till they look like that. I don't know if you can see, there is a hole, I've put my thumb there a lot, you can see straight through. So it just gives that little bit of realism to the exhaust stacks. I just thought I'd show you that. And there they are. So it's just a little simple thing to do, just to have a little bit more interest to it. Okay. Okay, 
so here's the uh, the boarding ladder and that's the hatch that covers it I believe on the civilian models there was a, a little window in uh, I'm not so sure about this but I'm going to put one in anyway so I've pre-drilled a hole just there and what I'm going to do now is, is get my little cheap Dremel tool with a I don't know what that is some kind of router and I'm just going to take a little bit of plastic out there and then when the finished model is done I should just pop a little bit of clear fix in there to make a little window okay just something else just to make it a little bit more interesting so there we go There we go, I'm through.